Hi, and welcome to Booked In Online Scheduling. Booked In allows you and your clients to easily book and pay for appointments online. Booked In helps you drastically cut down on the amount of time you spend scheduling, and clients love it too because they don't have to phone, email, or text you to make an appointment. They just go and they book online. So here I'm going to give you a full tour of Booked In and show you how to set everything up in under 30 minutes. So let's dive right in. So I'm on the sign in page. I've created my free trial account, so I'm going to log in for the first time. I'm going to be showing you our web application, but all of the settings and features I show you here are also available on our mobile app for iPhone or Android. All right, so I'm signed in. And so the first thing we see here is the calendar. And so what we're looking at here is the private view. This is where you, the business owner, any of your staff log in to manage your appointments and look at your client's history, the activity, reschedule people, book people in. So this is your main view. And here we've got one calendar here. We can view different ways. And if you've got multiple calendars, we call them schedules. You'll see them at the top here in little colored buttons. So without going into too many details about the private view and all the settings, I'm just going to show you quickly the public view. So this link up here, client scheduling page. So if I click this, it opens up a new window and shows me the public view. So this is what your clients see. This is, you know, we can customize a lot of these settings. So, but after your basic setup, this is what it looks like. And I'll be showing you how to customize this. But one thing to notice is the services. You've got your location details, a calendar with all the available times. What clients will do is choose their time from the available time slots, fill in their name, email, phone, and any comments. We can add more booking form fields here as well. And they just click book it and then they're booked for their appointment. One thing to notice as well too here, this public view is responsive designed. So what that means is the page sh uh, shrinks down and looks really great on any device. So any mobile device, when your clients are booking with you online, it's really, really easy for them to do. They don't have to create a password or anything. They just fill in this form and book. So that's a bit of an intro. We'll come back to this customizing, uh, customizing of this page. And what we'll do is we'll flip back to the settings, back in the private view here. So on the calendar, how does the calendar work? We've got available hours set. The dark areas are unavailable. The light areas are available for bookings. We've got a sample appointment here. We can click on the appointment and view some details. Any notes made for the appointment? You can click through to the client's profile. You can cancel or change the booking, either reschedule it, add notes, or we can drag and drop the booking anywhere to reschedule it. If you drop it into a new location, the system sends your client an email saying that your appointment has been rescheduled. Now let's create a new booking. Thursday the 25th. Here we can choose a session for our client. So let's choose the studio session. 45 minutes is set up based on my uh, settings. We type in the client information. So I'm booking this session for Bob. I don't have his phone number, but I do have his email. So I'm going to type in Bob's email. Hit book it. Now I've just booked Bob in for an appointment Thursday and the system sent him an appointment confirmation. This system will also send him a reminder. All right, so we talked a little bit about hours. How do we change the hours? The available hours here are set by default 9 to 5, but maybe you don't have you know, regular hours like that. So there's two ways to change your hours. First, recurring hours. What you want to do is hit change hours, change recurring hours, 
Now here you'll see time slots for every day of the week. We can remove time slots, add time slots, so let's say 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Save. Now every week going forward, my time slots are updated. We scan through the weeks, take a look at the month view, you'll see that Saturday, Sunday are blocked off. back to today. Now what if you want to change just one day only? So blocking a day off for a holiday or changing you know, just a couple hours of the day. To change individual days, this is also done in the change hours button. So hit change hours and then you can click anywhere on the calendar to open or close time slots. So here I can block an hour time slot I can change this time slot, click to make it disappear. If I go to month view, change hours, I can block off individual days. So for example, September, the last week, we want to block that off for a holiday. That way no clients can book online during those days. When you're all done, just hit change hours again and you're saved. All right, so that's the calendar. Let's dig into the settings. Settings, services. So you've probably set up a few of these when you created your account. I've got, I've got three here. They each have different durations, different prices. So let's click into one and add some more optional settings. So on location services. Here we can add a description. So this is good for just, you know, a little marketing blurb to describe what this is to your clients. This will display on the public scheduling page. So I've just pasted in a little description here. You can add a category. Maybe we have outdoor. We have a variety of outdoor sessions. Here you can change the duration and change the price. Now on Booked In, you can turn on payment collections. This is a really popular feature. It's not required, but if you want to collect payments online, here's where you'd set that up. Payment options. So for my on location session, I want to turn on these payment options so that clients can pay me online. So I'll explain these two and then we'll hook them up. The first one, pay up front, public only. So what this means is the clients, when they go and book online on that public page, they'll be asked to pay up front a fee. So either the full or the deposit fee. If they pay, then they get the session and appointment booked. If they don't pay for any reason, so maybe they abandon the payment or just cancel out, they won't get the appointment. So this is great for reducing no-shows and uh, just collecting a little bit of money up front. Pay up front. Pay later. Now this is good if you don't want to force your clients to pay online right away, but you'd like them to pay after they book. So pay later. What this does is adds a payment prompt to the clients in three places. One on the thank you page another in the confirmation email, and a third one in the reminder email. So pay up front, pay later. Let's go ahead and uh, hook these up. So I'm asked to connect to PayPal. So PayPal is our processor. What that means is PayPal will collect the payments and process them and deposit all the money into your PayPal. And so what we do have to do is just connect our PayPal, hit agree, I'll be redirected over to log in to my PayPal. Now here you can use any PayPal account. This could be, you know, your, your PayPal from you know, the one you use for eBay. It can be any of the free or paid PayPal accounts. The free ones work great though. Log in, grant permission. 
then I get redirected back into Bookton. One thing to note here too, as it's connecting, it's looking to see if your PayPal is verified. So if you're having trouble with connecting your PayPal, the verification might be the trick. So we've got other help account, uh, help articles on our site if you're having trouble connecting your PayPal. You are connected to PayPal. You can now request payments from your clients. Perfect, so we'll go back into On Location, Payment Options, Pay Up Front. I'm going to set a $50 upfront deposit payment. Payment That means people will have to pay $50 upfront to secure this session. Refund automatically if booking is canceled. So what does this mean? This means if the clients cancel or if you cancel, that $50 will automatically get refunded to the client. So you can turn this on or off. I like to leave it off. I'm a control freak, so I prefer to process the refunds myself, but it's up to you. Pay later. I'm also going to turn this on. So what that means is People will pay $50 up front, but then the remaining $100 they owe, they can pay later via the client reminder emails. Offer a discount for paying early. You can turn this on, and what it does is it kind of incentivizes people to pay sooner than later. So you can apply any of these discounts, and then if the client pays you before their appointment start time, they'll get this discount. I'll leave that off. Clients can add a tip when paying. Pretty self-explanatory. If you check this box, it will add a tipping option on the payment screen. So I'm going to hit save. I'll paste my description again. I forgot to save that. Great. Now anytime clients go to book this photo shoot, on the client scheduling page on the 24th on location photo shoot 9 a.m. as the clients trying to book they'll see this note Pelican Studios requires a payment of $50 when they go and book they'll see a payment screen they can pay you by any method so Visa, MasterCard, uh, Amex, Discover, debit cards or PayPal they don't necessarily need PayPal to make this $50 payment. All right, so that's services and payments. Let's go back to the calendar and finish looking through the settings. Settings, schedules. So here is where all of your schedules appear. You can add new schedules. So for example, if you have more than one person on your staff who takes appointments or you can click to edit this particular schedule to change the notification settings or those recurring hours we talked about. Settings. Let's look at user accounts. So what is a user account? Users are people who can sign into the private view. So your booked in scheduler, what we're looking at here. Right now, the only person who has access to the private booked-in scheduler is Sandra. That's the account owner. However, if you, if you want to add new users, you'd hit this button. You would add their name, type in their email. Once you hit save, Larry will get an invite to log in, create a password, and see the private scheduler of Pelican Studio. You can also limit their permissions here with these checkboxes. This will also allow this user to log in using the mobile apps. All right, settings, business info. You probably won't need to bother setting this up. All of this information you created when you created your account. But if you ever need to change it, Here's where you can do so. Uh, the name of your business, 
the phone, email, website, your location, time zone, your address. Here's where you can also hide your address. This hides the address from the email, client emails and the booking public page. Your currency and your PayPal settings. Let's keep going. Settings, email notifications. Now here, this is what controls all of the settings for your client emails. The reminders, notifications they get when they book online. Soon we'll also be launching text message notifications. The settings for those will appear here once the text mes message feature is launched. For now, we just have email notifications. General. What do, what do these settings do? This controls the reminder emails. Send follow-up reminders two, one, three, four, five days in advance. So you can change the reminder email or turn off and on the reminder email. Allow clients to cancel bookings via email. So you can turn this off if you don't want cancel, uh, clients to cancel. You can turn it on and you can also change your cancellation policy. So let's say six hours. This means clients, if they receive their reminder one day before, they'll be able to cancel. But if they cancel last minute, so less than six hours from the appointment start time, it will say, sorry, you can't cancel this book. BCC all client emails to the following email. You probably won't need to use this, but what this does is if you add an email address here, what it does is every time the system emails your client, so a booking reminder, booking notification, anything at all, it'll send a copy of that client email to this email address. I'm going to uncheck that setting for now. Okay, personalized emails. Here's where it gets good. This is an awesome feature for really automating the communication you do with your clients. So anytime they book or you book, they receive an email with a confirmation and then later a reminder. So you can add information to that email using this personalized email editor. So I've got some you know, pre-written text here. You can add pretty much anything you need um, into this text box, but I'll just paste in my message. Add a message to all booking confirmations and reminder emails. So this message will display in that client email. So things like you know, Google map links, um, just a thank you message, instructions on what they need to bring to the session, things like that. Um, links to printable documents like a Dropbox file or be a Google Doc. Save. Another thing, if you have a different message for each service, that's what this feature can do. Add a unique message for each service. So let's say our on location sessions, we want the reminders to have a unique message. Save. But then our free consultations, we just want a much shorter little blurb. I'll just paste in my text here. Thank you for booking a free consult. So what that means is this message will get sent to the client depending on what session was booked. All right, so that's personalized emails. Settings, customize. So here's where you can customize that public client scheduling page we looked at earlier, and also the calendar. We'll do the calendar last. First, custom booking forms. So when people are booking online, here on the client scheduling page, you remember they had to fill in their name, their email, and their phone. We want to add other booking fields. This is where it's done. Settings, customize add custom form field, 
So one pretty popular form field is reason for booking today. This is where the client can fill in you know, why they're booking. Regular text field, address field. Nine times out of ten, you're going to want a regular text field. Address field is only if you're collecting their address. Request, once per client, or for each booking. This controls where this information gets saved. Once per client saves on their profile. For each booking, saves it on each booking. Display for public required. You can uncheck required to make it an optional field. You can change it to internal staff only, meaning only your staff would be able to fill in this particular form field. The clients won't see it. But let's leave it as a public form field on not required. We'll hit save. Now on the public form, if we go cancel, let's try to book a free consultation. Now you'll see name, email, phone, and here's our custom form field. All right, color and logo. Choose a custom color and logo to display on your client scheduling page. So here's where we can upload a logo or a profile uh, photo picture. So I'm going to use the upload picture tool and just grab my logo from my desktop. You can use the company logo one as well. The only difference is profile photo gives you this nice crop tool, which I'm a really big fan of. You can crop, crop and save. Here we go. Now our logo is here. The logo is in our private view. More importantly, if we go back to our client scheduling page, boom, logo. Now color. We want to make the color a custom color. Color applies to your client scheduling page. Here you can choose from the drop down. We've got a couple preset colors. Charcoal is a nice one. But custom, I want to grab this nice teal blue. You can use the color picker tool to find a color that suits your needs. But I have a trick up my sleeve. I know the hex code for this nice teal blue. So I'm just going to paste that in. You might be able to get that from your graphic designer. Hit enter. Now you'll see the teal blue. Pelican Studio. Now when clients view this page, they'll see my nice branding, my logo, and all of my services and availability. All right, now we're fully set up. We've got our logo and color. One last thing on the customized page, I'll mention the calendar settings. Now these two settings are for you and your internal staff only, so it doesn't affect the clients at all. Allow booking during unavailable times. What that means is it lets you create bookings in these dark areas. So if you wanted to book something at 4 a.m. for yourself, you could book. Right now it's not letting me. It's unavailable. The second setting is allow double booking internal only. So only you will be able to double book appointments, meaning on the calendar, 12 p.m., Bob, you'll be, if you turn on double booking, you'll be able to book someone else at 12 p.m. Just to be very clear on the public page where clients go, double booking is impossible. It is not possible. Only on the back end in the private view. All right, so we've gone through all of your settings. The last one here is integrate. Now this brings us to really spreading the word about your page and getting people to book online. Here in the integrate section, we've got some options. Your public URL. This is what you'd want to share online everywhere. Share on your Facebook page, share in email, share Twitter, share everywhere. This is your public scheduling page. 
Facebook button. We've got a link to set up a Facebook book now button. Website button. We've got a code creation tool that helps you to embed a button that looks really nice on your Facebook, um, or pardon me, on your website. We can use that custom color again. Get code, copy code, and then you can paste that into any website. We've got some integration guides to help you get that set up in our FAQs. Finally, website widget. So this helps you embed the entire calendar into your website. Once again, you can choose a custom color. Choose my teal. Oops, pasting the wrong thing here. You can choose different fonts as well that will match with your site. Get code, copy code, and then paste that code into your website. Again, we've got step-by-step uh, -step guides for every type of website, like WordPress, Wix, all of the popular sites. Any site will work, and you can embed that widget right into your site. All right, that's it. You've just learned how to set up your full booked-in account, invite users, change your hours, customize your booking page, and share that booking page online so that you invite everyone to book online. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have questions, please reach out to us by email at support at bookedin.com.